Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 11th of 2022 well, it is titled Perseids and Magic. So what do we see here? Well, what is magic? Magic is actually the telescope seen here, which is also known as Major Atmospheric Gamma Imaging Cherenkov. And what this is, is essentially a gamma ray telescope here on the surface of Earth. Now gamma rays don't penetrate Earth's atmosphere. So we would wonder maybe what good is having a telescope for gamma rays on Earth's surface. And there, what it's doing is not detecting the gamma rays directly, but it detects them indirectly. When gamma rays strike Earth's upper atmosphere, they interact with the particles and release little bits of light that can then be detected by the telescope. So not a direct detection of the gamma rays, but a way to be able to observe them from here on Earth. Now it's a very large mirror and you can see it's actually 17 meters across and you can see that it's made up of a number of different segments put together. And that is commonly done with very large telescope mirrors because it is a lot easier and less expensive to build a number of small mirrors and put them together than it is to build one gigantic mirror 17 meters across. Now we also mention Perseids here. Perseids are one of the meteor showers and are prominent in about the second week of August. And that's coming up very soon now. And we can see a few of the meteor streaks here. And if you note, if you connect them all in a line, add their, extend their lines backwards, they all kind of meet behind the telescope. And that is because the meteor showers are, are named for the constellation from which the meteors appear to radiate. And we call this the radiant point, which would be back behind the telescope in this case. The meteors appear to come from that area because they are traveling parallel together through space. And they appear to converge off in the distance, much as a railroad track or telephone poles will appear to converge off in the distance here on Earth. So things that are actually parallel can appear to converge as an optical effect off in the distance. Now the Perseid meteors will peak around um, August the 13th this year. So a chance to see a meteor shower here. And the summer ones are always nice in a way because the weather is nicer to go sit out and look for meteors uh, as compared to some that occur in the middle of winter, at least for those of us here in the northern hemisphere for this one. So it's a, lot, a little more popular one. It's also a very uh, prominent one with a good number of meteors. The difficulty this year is that the phase of the moon is not good for meteor showers. It'll be very close to a full moon on that day. And that means that the sky will be a lot brighter than normal and it will be a lot harder to see the fainter meteors although the brighter ones will still be visible. So looking up in a couple of days a chance to see the Perseid meteor shower. So that was our picture of the day for August 11th of 2022. It was titled Perseids and Magic. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Portrait of the Eagle Nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.